Hi, this is Dan Malloy with Mechanical PE Exam Prep. Welcome back. We're working on Six Minute Solutions Problem 4. Which of these psychrometric processes can successfully condition air from 81 degrees dry bulb temperature and 45% relative humidity to 60 degrees dry bulb temperature and 51 degrees dew point? And they want to know if it's sensible or latent cooling and sensible or latent heating. So let's find those two points on the psychrometric chart. I've pasted one below. So we're starting from 81 degrees Fahrenheit and 45% relative humidity. It's about right there. And then it's going to 60 degrees and 51 degree dew point, which is about right there. So when you're finding this second point, you go on the horizontal axis to 60 degrees dry bulb. When you're at the dew point, the dry bulb and the wet bulb temperature are the same. So you can look at 51 dry bulb and follow that up to 51 with 100% humidity and then follow that over horizontally. Any point any horizontally from 51 on this curved section is said to have 51 degree dew point temperature. So when, when they say that on the news, the dew point outside is 51 the actual conditions could be anywhere along this horizontal line. That's just saying that if that air is cooled to 51, that's when condensation will start to form and, um, and water, will, water vapor will come out of the air. Anyway, so we're starting from this condition and we're ending up here. And clearly, you can see that this is sensible cooling because the dry bulb temperature is going from 81 to 60 degrees. So right off the bat, we can eliminate these two choices here because it says sensible heating and this says sensible heating. So the question is, is it sensible cooling with latent heating or sensible cooling with latent cooling? And this can be a little confusing because on the one hand, the relative humidity is higher in the second state than it is in the first. In the first state, it's about 45%. And in the second state, it's over 70% relative humidity. So you could make the argument that the humidity is increasing. And that's true when you think about relative humidity. However, the absolute humidity is decreasing. Right? If you follow this line over to the right, this axis shows the absolute humidity. And that is certainly decreasing anytime you go vertically down on this chart. So the rule of thumb, I shouldn't say rule of thumbs, that makes it sound like it doesn't always work. This actually always works. Is if you're going to the left, then that is sensible cooling because you're reducing the dry bulb temperature. And the corollary of that is also true. If you were going to the right, that would be sensible heating. And then if you're going vertically down, that's latent cooling because you're removing water vapor from the air. And if you were going vertically up, then that would be latent heating. So the best answer choice for this is cooling and cooling, sensible cooling and latent cooling. B is the best answer. See you in the next video.